you may have noticed that by default you can't edit or modify imported assets. This is because they are not actually local in the scene, they are imported using Blender's linking feature. Without getting too technical, it just means Blender is pointing to the original asset, instead of adding it to the scene in its own memory block. This is a big deal for performance. If you were to have more than a few assets imported via the append function, even a fast computer would start to struggle. The blend files would become massive, take a long time to open, and there's a good chance you would max out your system memory when it comes time to render. Unfortunately, a lot of asset libraries still use this method. Because polygonic assets are linked by default, we can have a significantly higher number of assets in a scene without running into these common performance issues. Here's an example of the same scene using the linking method instead of appending. It's night and day. But what if you want to modify the assets? That's where this editable button comes in. This converts the selected linked asset into a local one, which means you can now do whatever you want to it. Modify the mesh, materials, or add a wind force. And if you change your mind and want to go back, just hit the linked button to reset all local changes on the asset. You get the lightning fast optimization by default and complete control only when you need it. 